flying Brian here out here at the trails it's a nice day probably about 58 degrees 60 degrees something like that um, it's good to be out here I'm out here at Bald Rock Meadows and as many of y'all probably are thinking he rides that trail a lot I do I happen to like it I haven't really you know got the money to do any major traveling yet so been coming out here and riding as much as I can. Um, I'm gonna be taking it pretty easy today. Not anything rough, because you know I'm just getting over being sick again. So I'm just going to take it easy, and I'm, but I'm going to a different spot today. So last time I was out here, I found a different little trail, which I don't really think it's a bike trail, but whatever. I'm riding it anyway. It's a nice little spot. So I'm probably going to creep down there. Um, I got this trail that I'm going to be riding soon. Um, I kind of forget the name of it right now. Of course, while I'm recording, I forget the name of it. And I'm sure I'll remember it as soon as I'm done. Um, and I'm supposed to be going to visit my dad down in Mount Vernon, Georgia. And uh, I'm going to hit it on the way back. Oh yeah, it's called... Uh, Dawson or something? Dawson. Dawson Trails. That's what it's called. I'm going to be riding that pretty soon. It's in Jackson, Georgia. Um, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to afford to do some major traveling here soon and actually ride some good trails. Which, these are good trails. I'm just, you know, rode them so much and kind of getting tired of them. But, uh, about to get suited up and get out on the trails. All right, everybody. Cameras are mounted in place. Got a new camera this time. I'm gonna check out and see if I can get a little bit off of uh, that guy right there. Got it pointed towards me. Got my other camcorder on my stick. The one that I was talking on just a few minutes ago. I think I got it working properly. And uh, this one on my helmet. And got another one on my bag. That way if, uh, like next time, if it cuts off, I have extra memory cards, I have an extra camera that's fully charged, and I have a mount for my phone to mount to my helmet in case anything happens. So I should not be lacking any film equipment this time. Like I said, I'm going to take it easy today and uh, see where it takes me. We're going to go to a new place, so uh, let's get out there. Change the angle on my camera this time and so it should be pointed directly straight. Let me make sure. That way when I'm looking down it should be about right. I think it is. And I also put a little foam piece. That's my initials flying Brian. Put a little foam piece over the mic. So hopefully y'all can still hear me good and it's not going to have much wind noise anymore. So hoping that's the case. So let's get out here. Pack my bag for a doomsday preparation so I shouldn't be lacking nothing. Let's hope.
check this guy. See if it's doing anything. Yep. It's got my ugly mug on it now. Not gonna film the whole ride with it, but just a little bit. Really, not only today is a good ride, it's, it's a test of all the equipment. See how everything's gonna do. Unfortunately, I know that this camera in front of me isn't getting much sound. It's also not getting my face when I stand up. If I had an extension to bring it up, it would be. It's getting my face now. have trouble getting up this hill. I know I need some new tires too. These tires are not grippy whatsoever. Yeah, still filming. As you've heard in one of my previous videos, me talking, I think it was the time I went to the practice course. Um, I've had problems with that camera, the cheap GoPro in the past, where it would shut off during my ride. So, today you might catch me stopping and checking it every now and then make sure it's still on because when it shuts off I lose all my film and I get kind of ill with that so, I mean if I film I'm filming for a reason not to lose it all so periodically I gotta check it huh. God, these tires suck. Need to splurge on that set of good years I've been looking at. Unfortunately, I need two rear tires for the van too. And last night, I got out in the van and drove it somewhere, actually the gas station, and went to hit a dirt road for the heck of it. And the check engine light came on. Gotta stop and check my phone. Um.
funny what I was saying now. Oh yeah, I took it to the uh, shop, or not the shop, but the uh, O'Reilly's. Had them plug it up for free. And was told it is an O2 sensor. So now, and it's bank one too, which is right behind the motor and a super pain in the butt to put on. So, now, I have to buy that too, which is 50 or 60 bucks. But the guy told me that it could be, um, that I got some bad gas. So I'm going to drive it. Which is not running bad. It's just check engine lights on. So. <clears throat> Dang, that's a heavy hill. I'm going to, uh, drive it a little bit. See if it goes off. <clears throat> but, having a missions test due in July and I gotta have that check engine light off before then so I gotta fix it soon I need to do a small adjustment on my brakes real quick Rears ain't wanting to stop. But I took the van to Louisiana a few months ago to pick up a buddy of mine and back in one day or one night. Well, I left that in the evening and got back the next morning. And it was a 1200 mile round trip. I was kind of expecting something to go wrong then. But the old van was a champ. But I knew at some point it was going to have some kind of trouble. And I was right. Okay, usually here I go up. Up through here, usually I go that way where it says bikes. This time, I'm going this way. This is the route I found last time, which is actually a foot trail. But I decided to ride down it and found an awesome spot on the other side of them wetlands. You will see in just a minute. This is a pain in the butt to get across. And so is this mucky mess. I gotta take his bike to car wash. It's nasty. All right. Huh. You can see the wetlands through there. Coming up on a break spot. It's nice back here.
these leaves are not helping my case one bit my brakes sound like crap now all right here we are I love this spot So nice back here. Just look at that. Here we are. I'm going to sit here and take a Quick break. Gotta check the GoPro. See what it's looking like. Got to take some pictures, of course. I turn around, the sun's in my face. I gotta turn back around because I gotta take more pictures. <laughs> pictures and filming can be a pain in the rear end sometimes. But you know what? The finished product is so worth it. Wow, this battery drains really fast. I get so irritated with that. So many GoPro sucks. I think it was 15, 20 bucks. Rule of thumb, people. Don't cheap out when you buy a camera. It ain't gonna do you no good. You think you're getting a good deal, but you ain't. I promise you. You're just screwing yourself. Cause this thing was fully charged when I headed down here. Think about it. Fully charged. It didn't take me but 10, 15 minutes to get down here. But, it's all right, because this time, I was smart enough To bring a portable charger. Ha ha. For once in my life, I used my brain.
Let it sit up here and charge for a few minutes. Wow, bike's nasty. I haven't even washed it from the last time. Haven't had time or the money to take it to the car wash, so. Kind of just been riding it like it is. But it ain't gonna completely hurt anything, it's just disgusting. But, it's a good thing that I, ow. It's a good thing I have a bike rack on the back. That way I don't have to carry it in the van. And it don't get my van all nasty. There ain't no way I'd put that in my van. Darn this darn lacra is hot. I don't know why I thought I needed it. I like this lightweight windbreaker jacket. Very, very light. But it seems to be good with the cold too, so that's why I like it. Alright guys. Hope you're enjoying the view. I know I am. <sighs> Have to tilt my helmet down a bit, so uh, yeah, y'all can see. Actually, what I'll do for y'all is. Let's see if I can manage to get it off. Yeah, there we go. Take this darn helmet off for a minute. Not ventilated. It's pretty hot, but it protects my head and it's a good winter helmet. I got it for cheap, so. That's why I got it. I think I paid twenty dollars for that helmet, which that's a those are hundred dollar helmets. So twenty bucks, I can't complain too much. But uh, I would have wore the. Uh, let's see. I would have wore the my regular bike helmet. But it don't, it don't have a mount for my GoPro. And as y'all see, I've got this one bolted on my visor. That way it don't move around. I used to have a strap, but it just moved. So I got this one bolted onto the visor. So I just decided to wear it instead. I thought that was the best thing, you know. Because I was going to wear the other helmet because I'm supposedly taking it easy today. Oh, I love it out here. I love it so much. Sorry I look pissed off. The sun's right in my eyes. Let me turn the camera around. I got to be careful. Hold on to it. That way, uh, I don't drop it in the water. But, uh, here's a 
kind of like a panoramic view. Let me uh, switch back around here. This is a pretty, pretty spot for to be where I'm at. Not really going to give off my location. Some of y'all know where I'm at, but most don't. Well, heck, why not? I'm in Conyers, Georgia. A little crap hole city. It's where I live. I don't really like it here, but when I come to places like this, I do like it. For any of you thinking, I'm going to go fishing here. No, you're not. This is not a fishing hole. This is a wildlife preserve nature preserve type thing they have signs saying no fishing they have little banners showing the preserving of the nature wildlife or whatever you want to call it like snakes and turtles and fish and stuff of that sort so do not come down here with a fishing pole Anybody that comes down to this spot, don't come down here and trash it up. I will get pissed. I love this spot. And it seems like the only people that really know about it, other than some of the bikers here, mountain bikers, or I should call them cyclists. Well, I am one too. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, Everybody seems to respect it, you know. Nobody comes down here and throws their trash out and on the ground and trashes it up. Most people are older. I'm only 26, but uh, most that come down here are 30 and older. A lot of people come down here and walk their dogs and stuff. Um, the last time I was down here, I wasn't filming, unfortunately. I just came down here. I actually planned on going to the track the little dirt track over there on the uh, Olympic side of uh, Centennial and uh, all right just use all four gigs I sure am glad I brought another card actually three or four more cards that was good thinking Brian good thinking but uh as I was saying I was planning just to ride the track Ended up coming down here and finding a whole new place. And that's when I found this. Ended up running into a lady down here who was walking her, walking her dog. And she told me about a place called Costly Mill Park, which is right down the road. She said if I thought this was neat, then I, I would really think it would be neat down there. But I should go check that out. So I immediately went to my buddy Daniel, Daniel's house, and I picked him up, asked him if he wanted to go with me, so yeah, I picked him up, and uh, I brought him with me down to Costa Mill Park, checked it out, it's a bunch of paved trails, but wow, it's nice out there, so hopefully I'll be going out there soon to get some footage of that, like I said, it's paved trails, but uh, it's still just as interesting. There's a huge waterfall. Or actually, it's a few waterfalls. There's one you can stand under. Um, there's a dam there and a water channel. Big old rock where the water runs off of it into like a little, almost like a little pond slash lake area. It has a beach. Um, a bunch of old buildings, almost like an old town. It has an old, uh, what do you call it? Um, old little jail hotel, um, automotive garage, an old chapel, an old like bridal shower store, which is very tiny. Um, what else does it have? An old like general store, um, an old like uh, water well type area. It's just got a bunch of cool stuff. I'm not going to really tell you everything about it until I go down there and film and you'll see for yourself but uh it's really nice 
I really enjoyed it. I didn't go out there to ride yet. I just went out there to walk it. But, uh, my buddy Daniel said next time I go riding, he wants to go with me. And I told him I'd probably go there. So, uh, probably going to do that soon. Maybe, uh, not this weekend, which today is Friday. So, not this weekend, but more than likely next. He, uh, has a bad heart. Not really. A, he has palpitations, so we'll be taking it easy. I can't breathe worth crap no more, and he has a he has a heart that acts funny. So between the two of us, we'll be pretty slow. But uh, it's nice adventures. If you'd like to uh, stay tuned to the uh, channel and everything, keep up with everything, um, you'll be able to see us. Uh, check that out. Or at least me, if he don't go. Um, I forgot to mention, I've done a lot of work on the YouTube channel here recently. And uh, I know I don't have many subscribers or anything. But, you know, I still like to make it look nice. I don't really care who likes it or not. It's really for me and me only. Well, not really me and me only. But it's kind of like a documentary of my life. And where I've been and the trails that I've ridden. I think it was uh, cool at the time, but yeah, I'd like to have a little more subscribers. It'd be pretty cool. I also made a Facebook page. Um, name on it's Flying Brian, of course. I've got a link in the top right corner of the YouTube account that takes you straight to it. So if y'all like to check that out, just click the little link that says Facebook and it'll take you right to the page. I could use the likes and the support, so if you'd like to go on there and like it and uh, keep in touch with me on there, yeah, just uh, go up there and hit the like button and you'll immediately be following me. Um, you can also send me a message if you'd like to. I don't know how long it'll take me to get back with you, but I do my best to... Uh, answer you as soon as I can. Any questions you may have, any uh, ideas you may have, um, anything of that sort, you can uh, suggest me to go ride trails or whatever. Tell me about the spots that you like. Maybe I can go out there and get some footage of it. I plan to uh, do as many trail rides as I can, wherever I can, because uh, happen to enjoy just going to different places and seeing different things and it's even better when I can take y'all with me but I'm gonna cut the camera off for now I think I'm about done talking I'm gonna sit out here and enjoy this view for a little bit and I don't want to bore y'all too much and use up my uh, battery or my memory stick I only have so many of them with me so i'm gonna shut the camera off for now and uh when i get ready to get back on the bike and head back to the van i will turn it back on all right everybody i've been sitting out here for about an hour or so i so love this spot i'm uh about ready to head on back to the van got some stuff I got to do this evening I've got to uh, go to work tomorrow I'm actually going back to work I know it's on the weekend but hey as long as it's been since I work being sick and everything I think I need to just jump up and not complain and do it so uh, I gotta make a drive to Ackworth tomorrow that's gonna be a hour and a half to drive probably two hour and a half because Stupid football. They got Atlanta screwed up because of that. I don't see the point in it, but some of y'all do. I don't know. Whatever. To each is their own. If you like it, that's you, but I sure as heck don't. I'd rather be on my bike. But, uh, 
I'm about to get my stuff back on here and let me uh, see if I can mount this sucker right up here. Not really. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it don't want to hold. Well, bear with me, guys. Give me a minute. Ah, that'll work. Gotta get my bag back on. Is all strapped up. I like this strap. Keeps my bag from flying everywhere when I'm riding. So and this is I know it looks stupid, but I don't know, it's kinda like a little breast protector. Your breastbone right there. Alright. Get this bad boy back on me head. Strap it down. One more glance of marshland, wetland, whatever you call it. Turn the GoPro back on. Alright. And here we go. Back to the van. Too much to do when I get home. Got a whole house to clean, got laundry to do. Gotta make sure my van has everything in it I need for work tomorrow. Had to go out and buy me a $40 respirator. That way I don't breathe in no junk. I'm about tired of breathing in junk. But a $40 respirator, it's worth it. It's one of those that blocks out particles, mold. Um, even blocks out some fumes, like paint fumes and stuff like that. So, I ought to be safe from damaging my lungs anymore. Anymore, they're already screwed. So, hopefully. can do this job without it screwing me up but I'm thinking about going back to school and becoming an IT tech so I'm pretty good with building computers and fixing them already but I don't know everything so, I think a little bit of schooling, and I could uh, have a good career. So, I'm going to try to do that in the near future. I became an IT tech, I could really afford a new bike to fix my other one and do some really neat traveling. Then I could take y'all some 
really cool places. So, just bear with me guys. And maybe we can start a, going to some awesome trail spots. There's an easier way to get out of here, but there's not. Huh. Stop, check the phone again. This old bike needs some work. I usually sit outside my door at my apartment and uh, tinker with my bike. But that daggone lady that moved in next door smokes like a freight train. It's an extremely Consider it. Of me, period. She knows I can't breathe. She knows I've been sick for about two months. But yeah, she comes out there and smokes up the breezeway. I can barely walk outside without covering my face and my shirt. And you know, I'm trying to be a Christian. So I'll be nice and ask her how she's doing. And she'll just say, fine. And then start asking me a million daggum questions. But she never for once asked me how I am. Which I think is rude. But, whatever. I try not to judge, because I'm sure people judge me. But my point is, is I haven't had no time to get out and work on this thing. It needs a lot. I've just been riding it. So, hopefully, it don't fall apart on me soon. And it'll just keep on until I can fix it. It is technically my beater, though. I don't care about it as much as I care about the one I keep in the house. It's not near as nice. It's actually a bike that was given to me for free. And what I did was took a bunch of old parts and just threw it together. Yeah. The only thing I paid for was I bought a parts bike for a hundred bucks. Well, really I didn't buy it. Me and a buddy of mine worked out a deal. Some money he owed me. For some work I did on the car we were flipping to make some profit on and I told him he only got like $500 out of the 
it was a minivan not near as awesome as mine it's like one of them dodge caravans um he got like 500 out of it so i told him instead to keep the money that he uh got out of the van and to just give me a this bike that he had sitting in his house at his uh in his shop it was a old wore down haro hardtail 24 inch i started to uh fix it but the frame was too short for me so instead i stripped it and just put all the parts on this bike like new stem new headset um sr sun tour xcc uh, spring forks which are really a lot smoother than the crap forks i had on here that would wobble back and forth they sucked um so i got them uh, seat clamp seat I got a lot of parts off of it. Oh, yeah uh, Pro Max V brakes Which I know most y'all don't run V brakes If, if y'all are like professional riders or even amateur Which I'm an amateur, but I ride a cheap bike, so don't judge me. I still get out and ride, so that's all that matters. And as long as my bike don't fall apart and kill me, I'm good. Most people don't like SR Sun Tour forks, but they're the best forks I've ever had. And I've always had cheap crap. Never been able to afford nothing nice, so. These are very, very smooth compared to what I had. And then I got a pair of uh, RST's 26 inch uh, spring forks. They're uh, RST Kappas. They're on my, uh, my red 26 inch full suspension. And they have a, uh, they don't have a lockout, which I wish they did. I could have spent a little more money and got a lockout, but didn't have it at the time. I had to buy those forks when I, I screwed my, or not screwed, but when my uh, front end came apart on me. That time, which was very scary. Um, I wanted a decent pair of forks. So I paid like 60, 70 bucks for them brand new. And I had to, uh, I ordered the wrong forks. I couldn't sell them. I waited too long to ship them back like an idiot. So I, the head tube was the wrong size. Or the steer tube. So I got a buddy of mine whose friend Daniel, the one I was mentioning earlier, he's a welder. Me and him fabricated a new head or steer tube for this bike. For the forks. And they fit perfectly. Welded them together and they're strong as ever. So I was able to put them on. I've still got a lot to put on that bike though. I'm still lacking uh, front and rear discs. I've got the calipers. I've got everything mounted. I just need discs. I need wheels. Actually, this wheels and uh, at some point a new crank and uh, chain ring. 
but I've got one on there now that'll work so really all I need to ride it is um discs and a new set of 26 inch wheels but I could ride it it just has absolutely no brakes so in my mind I can't ride it so it sits in the house it's been down for almost a year but one of these days I'm gonna get her fixed and I'll be out shredding trails on that bad boy most of y'all wouldn't uh, approve of this bike y'all would say it's a piece of crap but I don't think so it's very nice to me and I like it got a set of a uh, oval carbon carbon 650 millimeter bars on it lock on grips nice bar ends or bar caps um got an origin 8 stem like i said rst cap of forks with an adjustable rebound they're about 80 to 100 millimeters of travel um I got about a 40 50 millimeter um, spring compression shock in the rear about 40 50 millimeters of travel um, it's got a set of Goodyear 26 inch by 2.10 tires on it which have very good tread good enduro tires I'm wanting to get the same for this bike um, I got a cheap set of uh, I think Pro Max um, brake calipers on it. I don't know exactly which brand of uh, discs I'm going to get yet. Find out when the time comes. Um, it's a uh, mongoose 26 inch full suspension frame red forks are black bars are white um, got some gold bits on it it's, it's a 7 speed um, The uh, lock on grips are black and gold. I got a gold um, bar caps. It's got a gold C clamp. Um, I got black mongoose pedals for it. Very nice flat pedals. Um, it's got a yellowish gold um, spring for the uh, rear shock it's a it's a decent setup it's the nicest bike I've ever had so you know I really can't complain I know I'll upgrade in the future and probably keep that bike maybe sell this one or maybe just keep them all I'll keep this one for a s extreme beater um, I've got some ideas flowing I can't seem to make up my mind you know how that can be if you have a wandering mind you know how that can be then broke out of sweat um, I don't want to do it to this bike because uh, 
I kind of like this bike, even though it's a beater. Most of y'all would say it's crap and chunk it. But, uh, I built the cassette for the rear. Um, this one has the, uh, it's got the same, um, build on it. Let's see. It did have a 34 tooth drop to a 24 tooth drop. What I did is I rebuilt this cassette to make it go from a 34 tooth to a 28 tooth. Then to the 24 tooth. To a 20 tooth. And I got the same build on the, the red mongoose. It's a 34... 14 I do believe let's see 34 it's kind of hard to find the size on this sucker yeah that's a 34 14 um, this has a regular Shimano uh, rear derailleur the other one is a, a tourney both seven speeds but uh, my mongoose is a decent build. I like it. See, there's the uh, SR Suntour XCC. Those were just a junk pair of forks my buddy had laying around on that bike, and I just threw them on. Decent pair of forks. Um, but I'll probably end up one day getting a brand new bike, or I used. A, uh, proper used um, probably a 27.5 or a 29 inch full suspension and I'll probably just keep the other two the uh, 26 and the 24 but if I get rid of any of them I'll get be getting rid of the 24 inch I'm keeping that 26 inch that's what I started on so um, but I've got this wild idea and I'd like y'all to tell me if it's going to be a decent idea or not. Y'all probably going to say yeah, because it's about freaking crazy. But, uh, let's see if I can get this camera stable. There we go. Um, I got this freaking crazy idea going in my head. I got it from my cousin who posted something on Facebook earlier today, and it said, uh, it said, adulthood is like, riding a bicycle but the bicycles on fire and you're in hell which I don't agree about being in hell because uh, life is what you make it I've learned that over the past couple months because I used to be very unhappy now I'm loving life so it's really about what you make it but here's my idea that I got from this uh, got from this post when I saw bicycle on fire I got to thinking about getting a junk bike like just an old junker a BMX bike at that because you know every now and then I do some BMX tricks so I'm thinking about getting an old junker maybe an old junk frame or an old junk already put together bike with some crap tires just a crap setup coming out here to this parking lot because I know if I do it anywhere else I'm gonna ruin the pavement or ruin something and I could probably just do it in this parking lot and save a whole lot of heartache and probably not get in trouble doing it but I want to take and I want to light the tires on fire with gasoline or with any kind of substance it don't matter but light the tires on fire have somebody filming me and do some tricks I honestly think that would be pretty awesome. So, 
down in the comments, tell me what y'all think about that. Y'all think it's just completely outrageously stupid and I'm going to hurt myself? Or do you think it's cool and it's something you'd like to see? Because I'm thinking I want to do it. But I'm not quite sure yet. I know I'd have to wear some kind of like thick old pants. Probably something under the pants and a really thick shirt. Because I know when I'm rolling I'm going to be throwing melting rubber all over myself. So if I prepare myself for this, I think it could be a fun, really cool video. So, drop a comment, tell me what you think. If you like the video, like it. Like it on the YouTube. Like I said, follow the Facebook. Um, follow the Facebook page. You can go to the link. It's at the right top corner of the uh, YouTube account or YouTube channel, whatever. Um, but as of now, I'm back at the van, so I'm going to go ahead, change, get on back to the house, because I got a lot to do. So, this is Flying Brian, signing on out, and until then, I will see you on the trails.